Hi guys and welcome to Fishy Anglers channel. I'm Yuri and today I'm, we're gonna be fishing Susquehanna Flats. Uh, but before we get to the place, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Don't forget notification bell. And now we get on the way to our fishing spot and we'll try to catch some bass. water is no go I don't see any action anywhere all right so what are we gonna do we're gonna try the spinner bait Just got a bite on a spinner bait, but that was a lousy hit. Well, let's see. So maybe today there will still be some bites. Well, and today. I forgot my fish finder and I forgot and I, f I forgot the remote control for my trolling motor so but the good thing iPilot has app that you can install on iPhone or uh, Android and you still can control it so well I'm using my iPhone now to control iPilot. It doesn't have all the features, but it's enough to control the motor. Yeah, I'm just getting hits, like tiny hits, but not enough to set the hook. So it looks like they are lazy today. Okay guys, fish on. <laughs> Small one. Finally hit it. <laughs> and guess what guys? This is smallmouth bass. Then from 302 fishing was asking me to take him for smallmouth and yesterday I told him I'm going to fish flats but he went fishing to the Delaware Bay yesterday so he was tired he said yeah I'll pass on this but he wanted to catch smallmouth but then look this is the smallmouth smallmouth then there you go <laughs> you could have been here all right but it is small though but it's good Something is biting. All right. Water is clear right now. So I'm gonna change my spinner bait to a bluegill pattern. Get the bluegill collar and see. 
if that will be better. They bite in on the white and shot through. So hopefully they gonna bite on a bluegill. And we'll get with the bluegill, we'll get the same color trailer. So we'll get the green one. Okay. We'll try a bluegill. Fish on, guys. <laughs> Fish on. Let's see what it is. Well, it's been two or so hours. Oh, and look at that. I got a schooly striper. <laughs> Ooh. Chill, chill, chill. He pinched me already. Hey. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Schooly striper. All right. So there it is. Some schooly striper. <laughs> hanging out in the grass all right second fish but it's been two or two and a half hours and I met other people they also said in the morning they got a bite but since then there is nothing so all right at least I got two the tide is start coming in so maybe it will will change the lock Maybe fish will start start moving. So we'll see. Yeah, today seemed to be tough. A lot of people fishing, but I didn't see anybody pulling the fish. So maybe I'm most productive today, who knows, <laughs> out of all of them. But as I said, maybe incoming tide will change things. Oh, fish on. Oh, and it's a good one. Oh my God. Guys, this is a good one. Oh, jeez, look at that. Look him, look him go. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that's a good one. Whoa, whoa. Not to get him on the motor. Whoa. He's going under the boat. Ah, ah, shoot, he was a freaking huge, oh my god, he got under the boat and probably there he just nipped the braid, oh my god, Jesus Christ. That was a huge one. Wow. So they are here. And 
and they are biting. But I don't even know what that was. He didn't even come up. Jeez. Damn it. All right. Yeah, it's even it's it's even worse when the bite is scarce and then you get this kind of fish and just lose it. Oh my god. It was huge. Whew. All right, what can you do? After that heartbreaking loss, I still fished for another hour, but I didn't get any hits. The wind died out and the sun came up overhead and it became really hot. So I decided to wrap up and head home.